I guess Piff wanted to sing the intro instead. You wanna do it? Okay. Tumblr. People don't often realize this, but it's so true. For real. Look at that little blob. Huh. Something small but unexpected happened and it threw me off my rhythm. The whole day's ruined now. It's gonna take three to five business days for me to recover. Perceive an 1890s postcard. Happy New Year, going to the soup! Wait, if one only tells the truth, and one only tells lies, how the heck are they able to tell us this without breaking their one rule? Oh my god, they're onto something here. They should port Doom onto Tumblr. Have a little pop-up in the corner where you can play Doom while scrolling. You know, if I had a nickel for every time someone reblogged this post with a Doom scrolling joke, I'd have enough money to buy a cardboard cut out of the Burger King. Jesus, that must be one expensive piece of cardboard. I don't know. Maybe the horrors would be less daunting if we were holding hands. With each other or with the horrors? Well, I have two hands. An ancient Greek walks into his tailor's shop with a pair of torn pants. Euripides, says the tailor. Yeah, Eumenides, replies the man. This is so awful. It must go on to infect others. The joke was so good that they deactivated their account. Special license required. Special license required. Special license required. Hey, can you drive a car? Hop in, you're ready. Why are there truck memes on my dashboard? Um, these are RV memes, you clown. You fool. I had a dream where my mom tried to give our Venus flytrap a spoonful of milk and immediately started hacking and coughing like an adult Cuban man. I can't believe your mom didn't know your Venus flytrap was lactose intolerant. How dare they? Keeping the Tumblr algorithm on its toes by not actually liking any posts that I enjoyed, but instead reading the entire things and then going away. <laughs> Curse you, you little raccoon! Ah, uh, my favorite video game. Gansidict Cumber Pact. <sighs> Why? Why? Holy shit, PM, I used to watch your videos when I was like a child. You're so cool. Wait, how long have I been doing this? Oh, seven years. Oh no. <laughs> I'm feeling the trip coming on. Love the concept of scissors. Someone was like, yeah, knife is too clumsy for this task. What if I use two knives? And they were right. Specifically, two knives strapped together, which is even more unhinged. Oh no, the knives are definitely hinged. That is intrinsic to their function. Scar is like Barbie to me. He was a wizard. He was a male. He was a business tycoon. He was a movie star. He was a cowboy. He was a pirate. And he is always a baby girl. Yeah, that's one way to view a lion who killed his brother and betrayed one of the animals ever, hyenas. Um, this is about good times with Scar, a Minecraft YouTuber. Ah, those damn Roblox craft players at it again! A friend of mine said they found my Tumblr. My brother in flesh, you didn't find it. You walked around my neighborhood and found my trash can. It's very nice and polished with a numerous amount of shiny stickers. Still a trash can! A crossover between King Midas and King Oedipus would be pure motherfucking gold. How dare you make me read this with my own two eyes. Well, Oedipus certainly can't read it with his. Ow! If anyone asks, I'm making some sugar oatmeal cookies for Cthulhu. He's been a little meh lately, and I'm concerned for his mental health. I like to pretend that my own mind is an eldritch abomination to make self-care interesting. Aren't I, Weedy? Yes. I find it so strange that we seem to all see the same advertisements on here. We, we all see the sword lady, right? That's not how the other sites work. They pay for one ad at a time. Carbon-based life forms imply the existence of carbon cringe life forms. And brother, I'm one of them, you know what I'm saying? I just watched an old couple get into their car and set off the alarm, and then they try to turn it off for like 10 minutes before giving up and driving away with the alarm still going off. You know, now that I think about it, maybe I just watched an old couple steal a car. Oops. Hand mixers and sewing machines are two different types of horses. These are wild animals. Untamed stallions. Yeah, they respond well to a confident handler, but they can smell fear and will act up if they don't respect you. Other horses include printers and hot glue guns. Boy, howdy. Short kings do not step outside right now. I just saw a hawk flying around. Legolas to the hobbits.
Uh, feeling bad. I'm gonna go on Pet Finder and find the most bizarre cat names possible. We'll report back with any notable ones. All right, I'm better. Here's the notable ones. <clears throat> Celery Prince. Blue Daba D. Brussels Sprout. Skype. Toby. Very gentle and sweet. Edward Cullen. James. Female. That's some more. Revolver. Mr. Cardboard. The Magical Cheese Wizard Provolone Dave. Dr. Eggman. Big Baby Pudding Snatcher. Bank of America. 401k. Gorilla Radio. And finally, 70 orders of breadsticks. I want to adopt that one. Mario saw an ad in the newspaper for a part-time job. Mario's are gonna take it. Seems like an easy pay. Woohoo! First a night on the job, everyone! Why are they moving? Too many songs about being in love with real people. Not enough songs about being in love with fictional characters. <sighs> Yeah. If any of you happen to be rich and generous, please buy me a hot air balloon and a fog machine. In return, I'll give you this picture. Please do not just right click and save the picture. We're working on the honor system here. I can't believe I predicted NFTs. Minecraft YouTubers. See, I can say it right. Having random nouns and verbs for names is particularly annoying when you want a fine character playlist to listen to while drawing them. Like, yeah, let me just type stress into Spotify. Let me look up the word impulse and see what comes up. Yeah, you know, that's probably, it's probably not a, not a good thing. The most iconic polycule of all time. A-E-I-O-U. And sometimes Y. I don't want to know what the fuck those letters stand for. Bestie, they're vowels. Did you, did you not pay attention in kindergarten? Please stop praying for my grandpa. You're making him too strong. He broke out of the hospital and the cops can't get him. He's too powerful. I'm going to fight the moon. When you're a kid and you're feeling weird and detached and you fall asleep in the late afternoon with school clothes on and you wake up and it's dark and dinner's almost done and time feels like a thick jelly. Thick jelly? I can't believe someone put words to that feeling. Thank you. Tumble, tumble, tumble. Beep, pop, skidoo, doodly doo. Ooh. You did it. You cracked the Tumblr code. You're free. Legit the scariest dream I've ever seen. Achilles after being dipped into the river Styx. Literally crying and shaking, RN. Darn kids with your falling boys and your panic discos and your romantic chemicals. And your imaginary dragons. And your cold monkeys. And your unreasonable amount of pilots. And your unnecessarily short summers. Aw, that one hurt my feelings. Anyone available to go scream in the woods with me? It's fun, free, and the trees like to gossip about us afterwards. Now this is the kind of socializing I'm comfortable with. Perceive. Two of them. Two of them? Oh my god, two of them. Believe it! You know, sometimes a guitar riff is to sound what a garlic hitting hot oil is to smell. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Horse girl polycule voting on issues in the stable like, all again say nay. Look, I know this joke is reaching the end of its Tumblr lifespan. Sorry for beating, uh, well, you know. They voted unanimously to freak out at a stray plastic bag in the wind, by the way. Well, at least they're in a stable relationship. <laughs> Writing inspiration. Thor finishes his meal at a small cafe, and the elderly waitress approaches him to clean the table. She puts the dishes on a tray and sets them aside, picks up Mjolnir, wipes the table with a damp cloth, then puts the hammer back down. Have a good evening, dear, she says and returns to work. Oh my god, my heart. 2023. Please, can we make lasting good life choices this year? Collectively. Why have I now just learned that neurotypicals have complete control over their brain? Like, you guys can just put your brain on silent when you need to? How? Pleased to announce that I am extending my invitation to summon me when I die to those of this realm. Would your dead essence do kids' parties? Only if I get to take one of their souls with me. You know what? Totally fair. Agreed. 
I don't want someone to reject me because of my looks. I want them to reject me because of my awful personality. At least then I will know I'm pretty. I don't think anyone is more serious about urban legends than theater kids. I mean, once a kid had to go home from rehearsal because he said the name of the Scottish play on stage and someone punched him in the face. I love how you also didn't say the name. Of course I didn't. What kind of fool do you take me for? Now, instead of saying, is this real? I ask, is this canon? This is the kind of post you find on Pinterest. The highest compliment. Stop deleting your posts. I want to see your funky little opinions. All right, I will give you one opinion. Ask me. Can cats have a little salami as a treat? No. Cancel Pucky Show. See, this is why I don't share my opinions. Must a villain be redeemed? Isn't it enough that they're bitter, evil, and most importantly, hot? But what can you redeem them for? Cool prizes? How does it feel to be the funniest person on my notes? Referring to my tits as the boys, not because calling them girls would be dysphoric, but because they're like goons to me. Henchmen. Now calm yourselves, henchmen. Yeah, sorry, boss. I got carried away. Toph was shown easily bending a meteorite that Sokka gave her. Meaning that Toph can bend any dirt regardless if it's from Earth or not. Meaning Toph could have definitely bent the moon, and the only reason she didn't do it was out of respect for Sokka and his ex-girlfriend. Yeah, Toph doesn't know where the fuck the moon is. And now, a serious message from Snom. Shut up and listen to Snom. I just wanted to give a reminder that I am a little ice worm and not a professional therapist. If you're having serious issues, please... Tell someone close to you and seek help from the people who know you more than I do. I can give you dopamine, not serotonin. Yeah, just because someone makes you feel good doesn't mean they can or are obligated to make you stop feeling bad. What both of them said. Please, I love you guys, but I'm not a therapist. Anyway. Men are so beautiful that they make you nauseous and dizzy. Aw, oh, dude, that's not your man. That's low blood sugar. Writing prompt. A witch curse your name to be hated for all eternity. The first thing you do is willingly give it to a fae. Congratulations, you have now made Karen the fae. Yeah, sorry, we localized your boyfriend. Yeah, a lot of his character got lost in translation. Had to change his name to one that would make sense to a Western audience, too. Mm, yeah, my deepest apologies. God damn it, every time. One of my hips always lies. My other hip always tells the truth. You may ask one question. I swear to God, somebody in the comments is going to say Siana or Sana, and I just don't know how I'll feel about that. See you later, alligators in the past. The gang now says, it's been real, baby seal. Oh my god, writing that down. You ever just be living your life like you having a care in the world, but then your ankle decides to just go Skrrr! and now you're questioning if you need to go to urgent care or if the universe is just testing your reflexes? No. Just me? Life's vibe check. Writing prompts. You are a student who can stop time. You have stopped time during an exam to cheat when you see something in the corner of your eye move. Someone with the same kind of stand? Impossible! I, Dio, shall be the only one cheating in this classroom! Strong, stoic man with a sad past adopts a child. Me every single time? <laughs> Alright, Andy, promoting time. Put up any clip of S.H.I.E.L.D. being an absolute dad to Ica. And of course, link our D&D campaign. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> let me let me intimidate. All right. I, I see Shield do it. I wanna I wanna be just like Shield. Alright, here we go. Oh, I'm a little emotional right now. Oh god. I've got a it. five! <laughs> that <checks> out. <laughs> okay, so you you run up, puff your chest out, but uh and you but you kind of just do like a <laughs> flawless. <laughs> and it's just kind of it, it's not paying any attention. I'm sorry. Tumblr users will pause their music to watch one video, then scroll in silence for 10 minutes. Hey, shut up. Sorry, yeah, you're not allowed to be in the grocery store anymore. Yeah, everyone thought it was super weird when you were rummaging in your wallet for your credit card, and it was making everyone super uncomfortable and taking a long time. 
Sorry. The bravery of a girl who has to decide what is for dinner, and then cook it, and then wash dishes every day forever and ever. It's called being an adult. No, it's called being the bravest girl on planet Earth. Shut up! I love shrikes or shrieks, however you say it, because they're horrible little carnivores whose feeding habits are grim enough to earn them the nickname Butcher Bird. But then they look like this. That is truly the face of a murderer. Daddy's home. You know what? Fuck you. Untandem's your mouse. How dare you? He was in a loving relationship, you son of a bitch! I would love to visit some innocent happy gnome village and just start stomping. We know that's you, Gargamel. Stop it. All right. It's been fun. I'm going to bed. Why? Fall Out Boy are doing something today. They're doing something. This is an actual headline, guys. Mom. Awesome. Behold, breathe right clear and breathe right extra. It's like his snoring got so bad that his wife left him and now he's just forever alone with his extra strength breathe right strips. Maybe the strips are so effective that he inhaled his wife. Gentlemen, show them no sympathy. <laughs> Little game cubes resting in their natural habitat. Why would anyone need to own so many game cubes? Um, they aren't owned, they're wild game cubes. God. The Earth isn't flat. Correct. Huh? It's in the shape of an Italian car. What? Ah, oh, you read my name wrong, didn't you? Jeff, come on. We've been over this. Imagine a doctor driving by an apple orchard and hissing aggressively at it like a vampire. An apple farmer and a garlic farmer team up to fight their mutual nemesis. Duck Dracula. At any given moment, there's a shark behind you. It might be a thousand miles away, but there is a shark behind you. And that shark is totally behind you. It is supporting you in whatever you do and wants you to succeed. And he put up a picture of Sidon. That's your emotional support shark. When I stopped at a crosswalk today, this guy pulled up next to me, rolled his window down, and stuck his head out. At first I was like, oh no, street harassment, here it comes. And then the guy was like, Don't look at the huge rainbow behind you! The only appropriate thing for a dude to shout at me out a car window. I liked it before it was cool. Yeah, well, I liked it after it was cool when everyone abandoned it. Hmm? January is one of those months where you experience every feeling on the human spectrum and you just have to go about your day like it isn't happening. It's great! I want to decompose in a bog. Well, you clearly don't know the first thing about bogs, Cloud Chaser. In the bog is like the opposite of decomposition. Get pickled, idiot. Huge fan of the phrase, get pickled idiot, writing that one down. Once my hair is long enough to pull back into a gay little ponytail, oh, it's over for everyone past, present, and future. Mm. Several years ago, my spouse was like, you gotta give the kitties a warning before you grind your coffee beans. And I was like, oh, okay, sure, makes sense. So now every morning before I grind coffee beans, I yell, it's gonna get loud, baby, you gotta grind some beans. And my spouse will yell back from the corners of the house in a despondent tone, Mentai. Hentai for men. Why is this based on my likes? I think that one's on you, Chief. Writing prompt. Thanks to a typo in the contract, the professor gained complete mastery of all the knowledge in the heavens and the earth in exchange for his soup. I don't know if I like that one more. That means I can never have soup again. Unless it's just one singular bowl of soup, but I feel like it's, you know, it's the devil. He's probably gonna want more soup. It's been January for just a Bit too long now. Starting to get suspicious. Tonight, my darling, we will be dining on my finest china. Ribbit, ribbit, zoo pals. God, that song is forever stuck in my head. And you did copyright reasons we can't play the full song. Play just one second of the song now. Buzz two. When you see the phrase, ooey oo, if the first thing you think of is Miku, you're going to heaven. And if it's Weezer, you're going to hell. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> Adult life tip. Do not buy a cabbage unless you have one of the following. One, a recipe that uses a whole cabbage. Two, 200 recipes that use some cabbage. Or three, a desire to waste an entire half cabbage. Four, 
A desire to aid your local cabbage merchant who's struggling financially because so much of their crop was destroyed in a series of bizarre incidents involving a 12-year-old martial artist. Haha, <laughs> references. My cabbages! May I ask why you were at an old abandoned shack in a forest? Hey, what's for all the questions, hmm? Trying to get into my shack? Well, you can't! It's mine! I earned it! What do you think of the moon? I sure hope it stays where it is. I don't know how to tell you this, but, uh, it moves a little sometimes. What the devil are you talking about? My favorite insult has got to be, he, she, they got the personality of a wet mop. It's such a raw line. One man's cringe is another man's epic, and a flawed story is still a thousand times better than a story never told, are two pieces of advice that a lot of people aspiring to be writers really need to take to heart. Stop tearing yourself up over getting every little insignificant thing right. Just write a story you enjoy, man. Thinking about the matte blue Scooby-Doo fruit snack. Look at it. You sometimes wonder if it's actually food. You know what? This this post in particular is too British for me. Andy, you're up. The cashier had charged me for four, yet I had got five delicious sausage rolls. She was deceived by the bag. Alas, the universe fixed itself in haste by tearing the bag making me drop one sausage roll. But I wouldn't let myself be meddled with so easily. So I ate it. The universe counted again by giving me food poisoning. Total equilibrium. Good job, Andy. Looks like we can't isolate, ignore, ibuprofen our way out of this one, boys. I'm still gonna try. Hey. I can be a pretty boy, handsome girl, don't even worry about it. The only new track versus old track discourse I want to hear about is the aspect ratios. I'm begging us to talk about how the 4 by 3 aspect ratio meant that actors were literally 4 inches from each other's faces at all times in order to be caught in the same frame. Hey, 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 no, no, no. They are 4 inches from each other because they are gay and love each other. 16 by 9 is homophobic. To catch a bus, you gotta think like a bus. Vroom, vroom. Is it data or data? Is it route or route? Is it caramel or caramel? Is it either or either? Is it red or read? I hate all of you so much right now. Fuck English! You don't seem content with this content. By the way, if you're going to make a joke about me pronouncing those things right or wrong, you have to like, comment, and subscribe. Those are the rules now. Having a hyperfixation and talking to people is like, you know what else has divorce in it? You know who else is a brother? You know what else found an incredible controversy? And you just don't say it unless it's really, really, really funny. <clears throat> you know who else doesn't just say it unless it's really, really funny? Pocky Chow? Are you smart? I'm on tumblr.com. That answers, but also doesn't answer the question. Right clicks you and saves you into a folder called Friends on my desktop. Goes into the folder and clicks and drags you around the screen for fun. So it's like you're on a little roller coaster ride or perhaps a big twisty slide. Ooh. Which of your OCs would commit murder is easy mode. I want to know which of your OCs is most likely to commit identity theft. I want to know which of your OCs is most likely to organize a Ponzi scheme. I want to know which one of your OCs is most likely to engage in tax fraud. Andy, I'm going to assume your evildoer, Sona, would do all three of those. You know, Achilles wouldn't have died if he was wearing OSHA-approved work boots. Don't let workplace safety be your Achilles heel. Hey, why can't you be this funny, OSHA? Safety is not a joke!